Hey y'all, welcome back to Twin Oaks Family Farm in rural Southeast Ohio, USA. I'm Melissa, thank you for joining me on our YouTube channel, Twin Oaks Farm Poultry, and we're in the meat bird production barn. It is March 3rd, 2024 when we're recording this. Won't upload it until March 4th, 2024. We don't do any uploads or post any social media on Sundays, but sometimes I do go ahead and get a video recorded if we're doing something that I wanna bring you along and show you and catch you up to speed with on our end. So wanted to bring you along in the meat bird barn today and just kind of show you what we're doing. We're actually getting ready for meat birds. We will have Cornish Rock Cross meat chickens moving in about March 11th, so about a week and a day from right now when I'm recording. Our first group is going to be 125 birds. We're planning on raising about 1,650 Cornish Rock Cross meat chickens in 2024. I think we have them split between about six flocks probably so initially we'll do two flocks of 125 back to back then take about a 10 day break and i think then i think we have three flocks of 425 each back to back and then uh, a little smaller flock to finish the year's production with so uh, our last flock processes on december 4th so our first flock moves in on march 11th our last flock processes on december 4th and for for the particulars of our operation and the resources within our access here we choose to take the birds to a usda inspected processor we have several i think three maybe in ohio and we take our birds to one that's about an hour and a half away from us three poultry processors that are USDA inspected, I should say. So for the particulars of our operation, we have to plan all of that, uh, the number of birds, the flocks and how many in each flock, and the processing date and the hatch date, we have to plan all of that a calendar year at a time. So um, it's it's kind of a good thing though because we can gear up and get ready and, and know what to expect for the next 12 months. So gonna turn the camera around and give you a look in the barn. We have a very, simple barn structure here that we did build and lay out specifically for raising Cornish Rock Cross meat chickens. So the, the main part of the structure itself is 30 foot by 30 foot. And that's what you're looking at here. And you can see a couple of the big doors open on those sides. Uh, the north side there has its own big door that is closed. And the side behind me actually has two big carriage doors and it's facing uh, west, but it's oriented as like the front of, of the building. So we can actually pull vehicles into this building from this side with the two carriage doors if we want to. And what we've done here, so our first thing, and, and you can kind of see, we do actually have some chicks in the barn. These are egg production chicks. There's some leghorns and marins. We'll try to get closer to them shortly. And uh, what's the other that's in there? Oh, Easter eggers. So I th we call them Americanas. Maybe y'all call them Easter eggers. But anyway, so a cute little bunch of, of 12 egg production chicks. So uh, what we what we start with, when we've got our calendar set for the year and we know that birds are coming is we look at our building and we think to ourselves okay how do we want to set this up because one of our priorities and preferences with our meat birds is to not have to move them during production and we think of their production in terms of three distinct phases over five or six weeks. So uh, for us, planning for meat birds is totally different than planning for birds like these, planning for egg production birds. Look at this one little, so there's 11 of them. And then one little leghorn <laughs> is hanging out over here by the doorway. And we opened this doorway up on, on purpose. It's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And so they've got the heat lamp, which, you know, the heat lamp itself, 250 watt heat lamp is burning like 400, 600 degrees Fahrenheit, but you, you're getting some heat loss from, from the heat lamp bulb to the floor itself. So, you know, probably down at the floor, it's the right temperature, like 95 degrees. And as we need less warmth for the chicks, we can just adjust the height of that heat lamp up, which creates more heat loss from the bulb to the floor and expands the circumference of, um, of that circle of warmth under the bulb. So that, that's how we can adjust for heat as they don't need it as much, the supplemental warmth. But uh, planning for the meat chickens, 
also involves like thinking about the supplemental warmth and thinking about the intensity of the lighting and thinking about the spacing and the stocking density and being able to provide them feed and water. So those are the things that we plan for. So we had opened up that doorway to let the sunlight in because that's also a source of supplemental warmth for them. But what we've done is we've, we've actually used our transport crates. These are live poultry transport crates that we haul our chickens to the processor in. And instead of having to actually build and construct temporary walls to make little pens, we have set up our crates because uh, we'll have initially just one flock at a time in here of meat birds. So when it's time to load them up, we'll be able to use whatever crates we need and not have a problem with keeping chickens where we need to. But we've set up two pens, so we'll clear that out and we'll have 125 over here for like the five weeks or six weeks that we raise them. And then when they leave, we'll prepare this side with bedding and what we need over here for the second group of 100. Join us again, y'all. God bless you.